Hey guys, wait, bush I in here. Sorry, I'm still stuffed up. Um, still not feeling 100%, but I got a load of mail, as you can see, over the last week plus that I've been gone. Um, plus, I've got some more still in the back. Uh, anyway, I thought I would uh, open up some of this loot and uh, divulge its secrets. First of all, I got a card in from Graham that I thought was really, really cool. Uh, this is actually for Graham um, that he bought and sent to my place, but it's really, really cool. Take a look at that! It's a little baby! It's a little dinky plate! It's a tiny little thing! <laughs> Just give me an idea, that's a small bubble nailer. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Little tiny itsy bitsy baby plate with a tiny little top loader and tiny sleeve to go with it. 101 magenta printing plate. That one's a rubber dory. It's a little baby. Cool. <laughs> then I got a package in from El Company de Panini. Panini America. Um, this is two redemption replacements. I was shocked by who they replaced my redemptions with. And I was shocked in a positive sense uh, today because they were positive redemption replacements um, that I was really surprised they were doing. And they didn't lie, wow. Uh, reason I say I'm shocked is, well, you'll see. Um, I believe this was an Al Jefferson redemption replacement and I forget who the other one was, but it wasn't a, you know, it wasn't a superstar or anything. And they replaced it with James Harden. I'm not sure why they replaced it with James Harden, but I am totally happy with that. See if we can get some focus. There we go. James Harden. And they replaced the second redemption with... Yeah. James Harden. So I thought that was pretty cool. I got two James Harden autographs in. Um, in my mind, he is the best shooting guard uh, in the league right now. Um, I don't think it's really even close, to be honest. And that one's numbered to 49. 7 of 49. And the past and present, I don't believe is numbered, but it's, uh, I believe it's a short print. Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool. And, uh, positive redemption replacement by Panini. And, uh, they use tape to seal up the top, which I am pleased about. Tape works. Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess let's just dig in. Let's handle the PWE first. Uh, the handwriting looks that of somebody much younger than myself and much younger than most. Um, so I'm slightly fearful of what's in here and how it was packaged, especially since it was in a PWE. That's not a good start down there. Well, it doesn't look to be for me. Yeah, it looks to be okay. Jamal Mashburn? Not for me, obviously. <clears throat> anyway, we'll keep moving on. Bases noted. It's another little baby plate! Yay! It's a baby! To go with this one. That's kind of cool. He has two of them now. Ah, uh, the things that crack me up. Also from Bases Loaded. This card is for me. Ironically, Graham and I ordered from the same people. Mine is numbered 12 of 25. It's not a 101. Die cut rookie of Taiwan Walker from Bowman Platinum. Numbered 12 of 25. That's a cool card and a nice addition to the Taiwan. Tai yeah, Taiwan. Looking forward to watching him pitch, hopefully, at the Mariners this year. A 101, Sir Al Jefferson. That one's from. Wow, it doesn't say. 1213 National Treasures NBA Gear Combos. So I believe they put the jersey or the patches right, right there. <coughs> uh, let's go with the fatty. <coughs> Wait, I can't get into the fatty because I don't have any scissors. Let's not go with the fatty. <coughs> Ooh, yay, plates. Again. 
On the back is a Gary Payton, which is pretty cool. And then in the middle is a Chris Bosch magenta printing plate. Uh, that's from 1213, totally certified base. That's pretty cool. And he sent it with a Topps Chrome Gary Payton uh, the year that he went to the Lakers and played with Carl Malone, Kobe Bryant, and Shaquille the Big Diesel O'Neal. Redemption card thrown in here for a champion signatures of Sir Chris Bosch. Redemption, Champion, Springfield bound signatures of Chris Bosch. One on one plate of Chris Bosch. This is the twelve thirteen totally certified yellow printing plate. Just think I'm bringing in quite the plate loop today. Redemption, Chris Bosch champions signatures. Bring it in a little closer. Dually bubble wrapped package. That's a thick brick. Of Mr. Chris Kamen, the patch autograph version number 10 of 25. Timeline signatures. Come on, stupid camera. It only likes things up close today, apparently. Chris Kamen, number 10 of 25. I did get a good bashing around in my suitcase, though. My poor suitcase. Lost a wheel, handle got broken, and my computer was broken by the stupid people at U.S. Airways. Never fly U.S. Airways. Ever. Ever. They are awful. I actually checked online. They're rated the second worst airline in the world. I don't know that third world countries' airlines are better than freaking U.S. Airways. Oh. In case you didn't know, they canceled two of my flights. And they delayed the third. Kind of fitting, isn't it? Numbered 6 of 75, on-card autograph, sign of the times, veterans of Chris Bosch. And they decided not to let me carry on my computer laptop because they ran out of room in the overhead storage compartment. In, uh, inside my bag was my laptop and my camera, and my laptop came out not working and in more than one piece. Laptop should not be in more than one piece. Mari Stoudemire, Chris Bosch, dual patch. Good looking card. Number 21 of 25. Anyway, the long story short is, uh, obviously I complained. And I was told that US Airways covers, uh, does protect baggage, um, and they do cover it, except anything that's inside the bag or any damages to the handle, scrapes or scuffs of the suitcase. My response was, so what do you ever cover in terms of baggage? If you don't cover what's inside, Springfield bound signatures of Chris Bosch Redemption, you don't cover the handle, scrapes, dents, or any normal quote unquote wear and tear of the bag, do you cover anything? Especially when they force me to check my bag in, or they told me that I would have to be removed from the airport and find a different airline, and yes, they would keep my money. Ugh. It was a nightmare. When I got to my destination two days late, which the boss wasn't pleased about either. Chris Kamen printing plate with... If anybody needs any decoys, please let me know. I got about a thousand from this guy. <laughs> decoys 101 plate of preferred panini signatures red. This is a 101 plate, not for me, Robert Ori. And I'll open up two more just for the heck of it. Redemption Springfield bound signatures. In case you're wondering, I have all 90,000 of these. There's 99 copies. I don't know how many I have now, but I've got quite a few. Number 
lots and lots of base to go with my desired card. What else? Oh, they broke the wheel on my uh, suitcase that I checked in. That suitcase, uh, it's kind of funny, it's a hard-shelled suitcase. My grandpa used it, um, and he was given to it by his great-grandparent. Or, I mean, not by his great-grandparent, his uh, parents, who had used it uh, when they were alive. Um, so this is, I'm the fourth generation using this suitcase. Taiwan Walker, 2010 Topps Pro Debut uh, Baseball Trading Cards 101, Cyan Printing Plate. Paid a pretty penny for that, but I'm really happy to get it in. Um, interesting base to go with it. Anyway, that's my uh, airport story. And, uh, yeah, some pretty sweet stuff. And uh, I'll have another video, obviously, coming up. See ya.